Careful, there's a big pike there. Most Londoners and people working around the river look at the dirty colour or the brown and assume it's dirty and dead. It couldn't be further from the truth. The river is a thriving environment. So we've developed a virtual reality portal. If you look through it, you'll be transported and go for a dive under the Thames. We've been working for the last 15 years here on the Thames and it's really important to understand how the various species of wildlife live in the Thames, why they're here, which areas are important to them. And only through that can we understand what their threats are and how to protect them. London and the Thames at Wandsworth illustrates a quaint facet of the river pollution. We have 120 species of fish, including seahorse, as well as a critically endangered European eel. And we have a lot of top predators that those young fish support, such as seals, harbour porpoises, and also um, sharks. We do still have a lot of plastics flowing into the Thames, which obviously flow straight out into the ocean too. But development is obviously an issue as well. Various developments encroach on this foreshore area and it's actually this foreshore area that's incredibly important to allow those young fish places to sort of shelter and to rest as they move up and down the river. Mm -hmm. 